Hello everyone and welcome back to some more of our Let's Watch for Escaflone. We are now on episode 14 and um, Duke of Freight is dead, everybody's dead, the Allen and gang are on the run again, or uh, not sure where they're going to go, probably meet up with some new friends that are then going to die. Let's find out. Three, two, one, go. I don't even have much written on the Duke of Freed's, like, section of my notes. We don't really know much about the guy. He, um, protected the secret of Freed, right? Which is the power of the Atlantis. He had a son that wasn't his. <laughs> um, I don't know. He's all right. And so now Sheed, I believe, is going to basically just be a puppet to um, the Zybach Empire. I'm just, I'm kind of curious where they all go from here. Oh, right. Also, Vaughn's dying inside the Escaflow. <laughs> right. It's kind of a deal. Big deal, I guess. Dang. He got a lot more messed up than I thought he was. Oh, did he do the whole connecting to the suit thing? And like that hurts him now when the suit gets hurt? Because that seems like a bad idea. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well... Now, all of them know. They are pretty cool wings. And now they're gone. Of who? Well, that's really bad. Do they need to heal the Escaflone to heal him? Yep. She got it. She got it really quick.
this seems like a very bad idea to merge with your suit then. That's a massive, massive downside. He say Asterion? Uh. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? What is happening here? Dr <laughs> Dryden of Asturia? That's a mouse man. Oh, they're already already there. So is this guy like a powerful merchant? Oh, oh, that's her Beyonce. Okay, got it. <laughs> this music. God. I think I would like this guy more with a different voice. Man, this man was just kissing a mermaid five minutes ago. And then he's like, all right, princess, let's get married. That's someone you can trust. He will never, ever cheat on her. Ever. With any anybody. <gasps> Delando. I Ah, uh, see? This is what I'm talking about. Someone needs to kill this guy. And now this entire fleet's going to get destroyed. What? Terrible suit. Get out of this suit. I mean, it's cool and all, but man.
I'm sorry, what? What is this? What? <laughs> what? What is that is huge. What is this? A, a Spano? Is that what they called them? A Spano. A uh, group of engineers? With massive capital ship? Are these gonna be like dwarves? Look how many eyes some of those people have. Oh my god. Well, I don't know if they're dwarves. They are shorter than humans, but that's it. What? Well, at least his ships won't be destroyed. He sold them. I don't trust him. That, that seemed like an odd thing to say. Soft spot for the king. Does he know that he's a draconian? I guess maybe not the best place to sync up, huh? <laughs> Just a bunch of grinding noises. Here we go. Streams. Bring some rope. We've got to tie him down. I found. Still, this why would you do this? Like the suit's gonna get damaged in every fight. Probably. That is so many ships. Two giant rocks. Oh. All right. You should unbond with that immediately.
You th you just did. Man, they just took the entire fleet. Uh, okay. Do you have another 50 million to repair this again when it gets damaged? Oh boy. Well, the enemy can't fly and remain stealthy, right? So that's something. Oh, look at those! They had shirts on! Those field mice, or whatever the hell they are, they they have little shirts. What a very smart choice Fawn made. Fighting them all by himself. <laughs> Sorry, that was three with one swing. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> he just... Oh, man, that poor man's head. Ah! Yeah, but he can sense them now. That doesn't do anything for him. Oh, have they ever formed a shield before? I feel like they have, maybe once. <gasps> Balgus! Damn! That looks really cool as the weapons just kind of pop out of nowhere. It's weird that they just melt. So that means the entire suit is made of liquid metal, not just their weapon system then?
What? What? What is happening? What? What is happening? What? He was just about to kill Delanda. What? What? Is, what kind of BS is this? What? I am so confused. I was getting very excited because I thought the Landau was finally going to die. And then just spirits of the slain come out of no what? Hmm. Okay. 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 Well, all right. In this episode, we were introduced to Dryden, who we learned is Malerna's fiance. He likes beautiful things, I think is what he said. He got all kissy kissy with a mermaid through the glass, which uh, that's the whole thing. I don't even know there are mermaids in this in this world, but there's mermaids. He has a the cool mouse advisor dude. I don't even think we got his name. And he is the son of that merchant guy that we saw in Astoria talking with the king in the in the arena. I don't remember what his name is. I, I didn't write it down, but he's that guy's son, and he is. Well, I think I already said that he's he's engaged to Malerna. So, I don't know. He seems he, he seems like he could be a, a fun character, but I, I don't think I really like the voice they, they chose for that man. For his kind of... Maybe not even just the voice, just the delivery, I think. The direction that they went with, I think, is a little... I would have made a different choice. But besides that, he, he kind of just seems like you're... Uh, I can't say really Han Solo because he's not a thief, but he, he's kind of along those lines of a very charismatic kind of like carefree, hey, um, <laughs> you know, kind of character. And then we met the Hispano, which I think is their names, and they are the creators of the Escaflone and also most likely a bunch of other suits which we also learned that the these specific suits, the Espano suits, will form a blood bond with their pilots, which means if the suit gets damaged, the pilot gets damaged, which seems like a very bad flaw. I'm guessing that we saw the positive effects of that bond in this episode, and that's what allowed him to destroy that entire squad by himself. So it does seem like you get a buff in, I don't know, mobility or just skills in general at the downside of... If the suit gets destroyed, you're dead. <laughs> uh, although, I mean, to be fair, if the suits get destroyed, you're probably going to die anyway. Um, but that was kind of, that was that was interesting. I'm very upset that the Landau got to live again. That's not acceptable uh, whatsoever. I am not I am not down with this idea. Was there anything else that we learned? Um, oh, the the power of Atlantis. We didn't actually learn exactly what it was. But it connected to the Emperor's castle, and I think it allows his engine of future seeing to work, it seems like, because he seemed pretty happy. What, what was his words exactly? Where where was that happening at? Where's the... I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Hour of Atlantis. So what does he say here? see my dream the pulsing of my ideal future there it is yeah so you can see maybe the path to get the future that he wants through this power of atlantis that's somehow connected to his castle miles and miles and miles away kind of curious how that happened 
And then, uh, yeah, then, you know, Vaughn kicks a bunch of ass and then randomly the spirits of the dead come out of nowhere, but they only appeared when the blood from his cheek stained the cockpit of the Escafone. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. It seems like some random BS to keep Landau in, in the storyline, <laughs> which, oh, I thought this was it. I was like, this, he's dead for sure. And then he gets to escape. And now Vaughn is inside of a suit that isn't working right now. So I guess we'll see what happens in the next episode with all that whole thing. But that's it. Thank you for listening, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.